Hello everybody, my name is Brahim. Welcome back to the White Elephant Achievement Run in Europa Universalis for featuring common sense expansion. So here we are after our first episode and we're designing where to wage war. Because I want to wage war. We're powerful in the area, I want to get even more powerful. So Kumar is attacking Lanshang. That might give us a window to actually attack Khmer. So maybe we should fabricate a claim. And here's one other uh, thing they introduced in this patch. You can now fabricate on your enemy's capital. You can actually demand the provinces. I will talk about that in a second. But yeah, let's fabricate on Udong. Why Udong? Well, Udong is my religion. Angkor is Hindu. And I think I want first this one. I will I will probably fabricate them both, but Udong first. And what about here? I can fabricate. I could fabricate on Pegu. Actually, let's let's work with with Daviant here. Let's improve my relations with them. Um and maybe grab a diplomatic reputation. I'm making 1.48 national unrest. Let's go with 48. Um, okay, quick thing. Here you can see you can actually uh, like fire an advisor before you you hire him, for example. If you're pool of advisors, you don't like any of them, and you have some money, you can actually pay and try to get a better one. Uh, that's very good, because sometimes you need a specific advisors. Like, okay, right now I need a diplomatic reputation guy, because I need to annex, I need to anything, and they have some extra money. Okay, so just fire and circle through them until you get what you want. Of course, our diplomatic reputation guy got a little bit nerfed. It's only plus one, not longer plus two. It was very powerful before, but still very, very powerful yet. <clears throat> so, um, I have a new decision maybe to take. Uh, I'm not going to take that. I don't want to lose the 5% accepted culture threshold. And, okay. About the, yeah, fabricating on your enemy's capital, okay. <clears throat> now in your war, you can demand any province from your enemy, even if you haven't sieged it. For example, if I fight Khmer, and I siege Angkor and Udong, I can tell him, okay, give me Prai Nokor, because I want it. I haven't even sieged, I don't have a claim, I don't have anything. I can demand it. It has a an extra cost in your in your war score, but I can demand it. I can also also demand the capital. Uh, I can say, hey, give me your capital. They will have to pick a new one. So I think I don't think if I did like that, I like that very much, uh, especially in those games like I don't know. You're playing as England and. The, the, you have to conquer Paris for achievement. You can just first war against France. You can take Paris. I think for like 30 war score, give me Paris. That's your first war. Done. I have Paris. <clears throat> uh, so I don't think if I like the idea of um, demanding capitals. But also, sometimes, like if you had a bottleneck, with a country and their only bordering uh, province was their capital, you couldn't even fabricate on them. So, uh, we'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> um, but yes, you can demand any province, so. Let me see, are you at war? No. You are... Okay, yeah, we will, we will declare war soon let's go speed for a little bit 
I like to play at speed 3, but sometimes when I fabricate claims, I go to speed 4. Uh, we are making a little bit of money. Yeah, I, had, I probably took an extra advisor. I should have stayed with two advisors. But, because once I raise this bar, it's going to start to cost me. Um, do I want transfer chips? Not really. There's no, I don't want them. Just dismount them. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to use transports for a long, long time. So. <clears throat> um, ba -boom. So once I get my udong, I will fabricate on Angkor, and I will declare on Khmer. Bring Lana and Daiviat into my war. Okay, I have the CB. Let's fabricate on Anchor. Let's bring this guy back. Let's start raising my maintenance. I'm going to lose some money. Damn, that's a lot of money. Can we move into here? Yeah, 16. Okay, one more. Uh, meantime, I have, uh, I think I have, yeah, we start with Boru Maraja. The second is a 2431. You start with him, so. That's good. Uh, Pesai has. Where is Pesai? Oh, Pasai is right here, okay. So, oh, look at Lin Shang. Wow. How about Pegu? Lang Shang will not join. How about over here, Kamer? Yeah, they have no allies. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go and try to siege. Um, oh, crap. I haven't checked that. Can I salvage my, my fleet? Yeah, yeah, go, go on. Go home, do the war. Uh, how many troops do you have? 11,000, okay. There are my, my little vassals. Actually, let's, let's go and fight them. And also, raise war taxes. Just. So they have introduced this um, thing that you can look, lock your movement once you get over 50% in a, in a province, for example, like that, you can see. So if you turn gray, you can't turn back. So you are, come, you are locked into the, into the province. Unfortunately, this doesn't work. Um, it's broken, so I can I can still stop it. For example, I, I, I I can go like this, you see, okay, so it goes back, it doesn't, but if I click back and back, there you go, I just cancel the movement, so that is broken, that have to fix it, I have reported in the, uh, in the support, but we'll see, we'll see if they manage to fix it. So my vassals, oh, actually it's Lana, who is, Let's go and siege that. <clears throat> but yeah, the locket, the locket movement, you can use it to prevent to. I mean to anticipate your enemy movement, and it is really easy to, to fight them. 
Did I kill them? Come on. Can I kill them? Yes, they are dead. Okay. Detach a siege. Detach a siege. Detach and go over there. So what can we do with Khmer? Um, I don't know. Can we vassalize them? Praino core, okay. Can we vassalize them, for example? No, we can't. See, I can ask for any province. So what do I want? I'm, I think I want these two provinces. I will humiliate them. And probably even take Tsung Trang. So they are isolated from Langshang and Langshang doesn't go after them. They'll probably do that. So what else? Every province has a, has a loot bar, like in Crusader Kings 2. Ayutthaya, National Trade Income Modifier. Good, for 10 years. There's a loot bar. So each month you stay in the province, you loot an amount depending on the troops you have. I think you loot... Uh, how much did you loot? I think it's 0 0.1 for every infantry. So it's I have 1,800 men. It's 0.18, all right? I think it's 0.3 for every cavalry. And it's uh, like over here, it's, it should look like 0.6 per month, right? There you go, 0.6 and 0 0.05 for each artillery. So you basically stay and loot. Uh, each month you take money from them. Um, <clears throat> only 38 come on you only have one province come on don't loot that that's my province also this one I shouldn't be looting this let's go and loot that and I should even be sending my my siege guy over here probably do you have siege value uh, yeah, you have one siege. <clears throat> also, now breach walls have three steps. It's no longer if you breach, you have a plus three or plus two, I can't remember. Now it's, you can breach the wall in three separate times. So you have a plus one, then a plus two, and then a plus three. Um, you can't assault until you have breach. That's a big change because uh, some armies were really easy to just stack up 30, 40,000 infantry army with some army infantry bonfire and just rush and assault every single province. And trust me, it was really easy. Like two, three thousand garrison with 40,000 troops with bonus to infantry, you can just assault everything. So now you have to breach the walls in order to assault. <clears throat> so I would like these three provinces plus humiliate you plus oh I do want your money uh, maybe Udong will go slower if I actually siege it I hope so because I really want his money. And I can start fabricating on Champa. Yeah, Champa, you're going down too. So, regarding the, the achievement, we can see right here. Again, all we need is this red land, Indochina. That's all we need as Ayutthaya to get the achievement. It doesn't look, sound really hard. Especially... Uh, <clears throat> Let me see. I can gain karma or lose karma. <clears throat> if I gain 10 karma, I lose 15 prestige or lose 10 karma. Uh, if I lose karma, I will 
<clears throat> go below 25 and I will lose my body fires so I will gain 10 karma even if I lose some prestige because I want to stick in the middle for those modifiers um, I have spare diplomats let's go and fabricate on the Pegu and what else work with Diviat probably actually you know what <clears throat> Work with Sukutai. I may be able to annex them soon. Come on, are you going to fall or what? Yeah, that that is really bothering me right there. Hey, Davia, don't you have? Come on, bring your ships over here. <clears throat> <coughs> okay, sorry for that. Let's go speed for a little bit until we finish this siege. Um, Lana and Pegu, all right. Okay, there we go. Uh, bring back this guy and peace so give me your money yeah it did go a little bit lower um, so I can get all that okay humiliate that means for the power protection, that means one extra mark point, some money, good, 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 good. There you go. See ya. Let's put some troops over here. Let's core everything. Wow, that is expensive. What exhausting! Wow, three point eight from attrition. Oh my. Should I buy some of this down? I think so. Just to save some admin points. So, 95. Oh, one other change to... If you have a claim on your pro in a province, the discount to coring is no longer 25, but it's 10. So, it is good to have claims. It's not uh, like... A must if you want to to core everything <clears throat> okay there we go uh, what's this we have lost CB against Khmer of course we have 60 power projection all right now should we accept Khmer when we finish that let me see Economy charts. Khmer is only 7.4. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see when we finish that. How long is it going to take? 1452 November. Um, yeah, gain turn karma. Just try to stay in the middle. Um, they are reinforcing. How about we shift consolidate? So not every regiment has to reinforce, but only three. And also, how about we lower that? Yeah, you can go back to protecting tr trade in Siam. Also, this land is in the Siam trade node. That means more power for me. <clears throat> what else? If I were to declare on you, Daiviet will join, Pegu and Lana will join their side. Yeah, Lana, bad move. I should have, should have picked this guy. Uh, 
Um, oh, let's go back to improving relations with you. Um, that was my mission. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stay with that mission for a moment. Can I build more? Yeah, I should build more. More barks. Let's put one, two, three more barks in the queue. And okay, I'm gonna make a quick break here. So feel free to subscribe to the channel if you want. Also, like the videos. And don't miss the next one. See you next time. Bye-bye.